I'm standing by, Vice President Quayle will be approaching shortly. <clears throat> Roger, I got that one deep through. The eagle has landed. Tweety is out of his cage. He's flying over the cuckoo's nest. Three minutes till condor. <laughs> Who are you? Dicky Peterson, chair above justice. Here to protect and serve. Well, the secret service will take care of this kid. The last thing we need is some guardian angel troop hanging around here. I'm not a guardian angel, sir, nor do I care to be, unless they start returning my phone calls, but fast. I don't have to step behind that line. Go undercover, mingle with the crowd. Roger! I know this is against chair of regulations, but uh, you're a secret service. I think I can trust you. Would you? It's my code name. Use it sparingly, and only in an emergency. <laughs> you are going to eat that, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. Unauthorized disposal of classified documents. I'm going to have to put him on report. Also, leaving his post, two more demerits. Looks like I'm going to have to secure this perimeter myself. Sorry about that, miss. Merely a trained reflex reaction triggered by potential terrorist activity. For all I know, that hot dog could have been a Scud missile and its funny mobile launcher. You are an idiot! <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, miss, but names are not going to put that hot dog back in your mouth. <laughs> sure, go ahead, get another one, I'll do it again. Situation resolved. All right, everybody. Surprise inspection. The second most powerful man in the entire world is going to be by here any second. And I swear by this trademark yellow beret that every man, woman, and child in my sector will pass muster. Hey! Newsflash. 60s are over. Get a haircut, transvestite! In your gut. <laughs> I better check into home base. We check the gray squirrel, we check the gray squirrel. Come in, gray squirrel. Dickie? Is that you, Dickie? Yes, gray squirrel, it's Woodchuck. <laughs> Reference material for the uh, scenario file of my Cherubs of Justice crime lab. No, it's not. It's filthy smut. When you get home, I'm going to take you over my. <laughs> uh, uh, you break it up, Grace Squirrel. Uh, I can't. Uh, I think we're losing again. Uh, maintain radio silence. 
Did you see the way he looked at me? Did anybody see that? I think we had a moment there. What's that guy doing? The vice president's in trouble! Sorry, I didn't see you. Who's he? I was headed for the trash can. Oh, I bet you were a taxi driver. <laughs> bet you didn't count on Dickie Peterson, human shield, getting between you and the vice president, did you? Unfortunately, I don't have the authority to detain you at this moment. But I promise you, mister, one day it'll be just you and me. And then... Check the gray squirrel, would check the gray squirrel. Evil plan aborted. Tweety is back in his cage, Sylvester once again has been thwarted. Judging by the length of my shadow, it is about 1800 hours, uh, which means it's time for a chow of chow. So uh, get those ding dongs ready. I'm coming home. a wonderful job organizing the recital, Janice. I'm quite sure donations will be generous. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Beaumont. I just hope we raise enough money to keep the opera house open. Oh, I'm certain we will, my dear. Unless, of course, there's some unforeseen disaster. <laughs> Sorry, but I think you're a bit confused. This is the opera. What? You mean there ain't gonna be no women on here talking about these candies possessed by the devil? Who are you? I give you a hint. I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the women love my G.I. Joe to come through here. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to excuse us. I think we see somebody over there we know. Well, 
bone souffle mon vide. Oh my god, it's that idiot Frenchie. Um, excuse me, I have to freshen up. Six three pointers in a row. Mm -hmm. mm, very impressive. Well, last New Year's Eve, I put 12 Reese's pieces up my nose, shot them into a Dixie cup from across the room. Ladies and gentlemen, intermission is over. Please take your seats. Oh, it's Second part of tonight's program. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am about this. Sorry? This 
is disgraceful. If this is the only performance you people can afford, I'm going to double my donation to yeah. see if this doesn't happen again. Yeah. I assure you, Mrs. Never. Janice, keep your fiancé French fry singing. <laughs> Has wearing real fur become a hassle? Are animal rights activists bringing you down? Then say hello to the Clear Conscience Fur Farm and Outlet Store. Here at Clear Conscience, 90% of our pelts come from rodents that die of old age. Right here in our own luxurious rodent retirement home. The rest of our pelts come to us thanks to Mother Nature. For instance, this unlucky little fellow was struck down by lightning. While these little guys were struck by severe animal depression and mass suicide. So the next time you have a run-in with an animal rights activist, flash him the label on the inside of your sable. Clear conscience, blue skin, no hide, before it's time. Hey, can I help you? Hiya, Johnny. Uh, the name's Jimmy. Jimmy, Johnny, Joey. What's in a name? Anyway, give me a double dip, black and white, and... Hey, Johnny. Don't forget the cherry. <laughs> name's Jimmy. Sure got strong arms, Johnny. I bet no one pushes you around. No. Sure don't. Right. Sprinkles on there. Ta da! Cherry, maybe a dollar. A dollar? Well, I thought it would cost a quarter. Oh, fiddlesticks, I just spent my last buck at the picture show. All right, I'll tell you what, just give me the quarter. I'll bring the rest when you come back, okay? Oh, Johnny. You're the greatest. I was nothing, a nobody, a bum in the street, but you came along and picked me up and dusted me off and turned me into something special. I'm yours, Johnny, forever. <laughs> Look, lady, thanks a lot, all right? Just um, enjoy your ice cream, bring me my change when you can, all right? Oh, Johnny, I could never repay you. Not after what you've done for me. Oh, Johnny, the two of us will be great together. We'll be thick as thieves, like birds of a feather, two peas in a pod. You'll fall the next train to Niagara. Train to Niagara? Train to Niagara, slow boat to China. Oh, Johnny, I'd go to hell in a handbasket with you. Look, lady, that's enough. Hey, yo, yo, Larry! Larry! I'm gonna take my break now, man. I'm out of here. Lady, there's help around. Seek it. Wait! Johnny! Don't go! I've got the double dip blues It really makes no difference Which comb that shoes Please all the sprinkles You see, I don't think I'll Because we were 
Johnny. See you in my dreams. over here, my little Zygon. Fetulate, fetulate, don't be redundant. Now, you see, when a man liposucks a woman's uh, mammogram, it is the titillating expression between lubrication of two secreting adults, you did? Yeah, yeah, a punk trick. Chitty chitty bang bangs like frosted mini <laughs> No, 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 no. It's it's much more mucozoid than that, my little genophilia. It's the uh, adolescent Dukakis that is calculated, you understand, by the insane or uh Who's saying, depending on the confrontation forthwith, furthermore, post-taste, post-office, creating a mediocre type arsenic uh, uh, um, treatyology, you understand? Am I being cruix? Uh, the center. Uh-huh. A most spectacular off-ramp. Uh-huh. But sometimes, I'm def- 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 Defecate. Right. For my misfortune. Uh huh. That's that's very antiseptic, my little hors d'oeuvre. But do not homogenize the Neutrogena or Gina, depending on the woman. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. I, that's my son. Yeah, you radiated mucho ambivalence, as the French people said. Time's up. Let's go, Oswald. Hey, remember, don't constipate your mother's hemorrhoid. <laughs> Fornicate my redemption. I recede to my own bowels. 